guys! For a while now people have been asking me lots of techie questions like what do you take with you when you travel? Should I take a laptop or a tablet? And for me it's a bit different because I have to take my MacBook around me and I'm editing and I'm blogging and I'm developing my website so I find a tablet isn't good in that respect. However, you can replace one I'm about to show you with a tablet. If you just want to keep in touch back home, check Facebook, check emails, look for jobs and flights then a little tablet is great. But I'm going to show you now with a very sexy voiceover all the tech that I travel with. So first we have my MacBook Air, which is a 13 inch 2013 edition, I think. And I absolutely love this. You can get it even smaller in an 11 inch. However, I just prefer a bigger screen, especially when I'm editing videos or photos. I like it big, let's just put it like that. But it's super slim, super light. I barely notice I have it in my bag and I was a PC girl, but once you go Mac, you don't go back. And I agree with that. Um, obviously I have my extension cord for my power, which is a little annoying at times. And I keep this all in my hard case, which is super sturdy, however doesn't take up much weight or space at all. So that was quite a bargain, I think they're around $30. Then we have my must-have travel item, which is my Kindle, and I recommend this to everyone if they love reading. They're super small, you can fit thousands and thousands of books on them. Not like you can read thousands at a time, but they're great on long coach journeys and planes. Then I have my two hard drives, a total of three terabytes. I have the My Passport one, which is one terabyte, I think, or maybe 500 gig. Then I have my Seagate, which is two terabytes. And there's a big difference in size. The Seagate is much better. It's smaller, slimmer, lighter, and I don't know, it's black. And, and that's always a bonus, it's stylish. Then we have my GoPro Hero 4 in silver. This is my absolute favourite travel item of all time. I can't get enough of it. I use it constantly. It's what I film all my videos on. It's what I take the majority of my photos on and is my only camera that I travel with other than the camera on my phone. It's so tiny. You, can see, you see what I'm doing with my hands here? I'm trying to show you how tiny this thing is. And yes, it comes with a high price tag, but I'd say if you've got the money or you have time to save up, then it's absolutely amazing for your travels because it comes with so many accessories. You can have the housing, which I'll show you in a moment, so it's completely waterproof. And I just can't get enough of the quality. And there'll be so many times on your travels where this will come in handy. So here's the housing. It's Once it's put in, it's waterproof to up to 30 meters. So you can even go diving with it. And like I said, the quality is outstanding on it. Um, even if you just don't go diving, you can go snorkeling or play in the pool. And then I have my little accessories to go with it. Um, a couple of backs for it, which come with the GoPro as standard. One with an open back, so my mic works. And this, this blue one I haven't yet played with. Then we have all my little SD card readers. I don't know why I have the SD card anymore on the right, because, I well, I don't use that, so put that away. Uh, I just use micro SDs now, like most cameras do, and so I have a couple of readers. And then we go on to a couple of more GoPro accessories. Here is my floating stick, which is also very good if you're throwing around in a swimming pool. And if you're not worried about floating, then you can shove stuff inside of it, like keys and money and, well, whatever you want, really. Then we have my extendable pole, um, probably just a glorified selfie stick. Um, however, it extends quite far. I'm not too sure what the length is, um, but it's not just great for selfies. It's great when you're snorkeling, etc., and the fish won't let you go near them. Then we have my very old iPod. Um, I've had this for about six years, so I have no idea what generation it is, but it's lasted me forever. Great on buses and planes too. I, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, trying to show you, you can have great times in your ears with this. Then we have my Samsung Galaxy S3. She's pretty battered. Um, but I love her, I must have a smartphone, I've got to be on the go, I've got to be able to check Facebook, send emails, book flights and make calls. So I absolutely love Samsung. Um, I'm not quite a Mac girl completely where I will also go to an iPhone because I, I love my Samsung. 
Then we have a very cool item, which is my Goal Zero solar panel charger. This is amazing if you're going camping or you're going out into the bush and you wanna keep connected or charge your camera and devices. Comes with this open two panel sol blah, 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 solar panels. And in the back, you could even charge your mobile phone. Smartphones take a while, that's why you need this extra little thingy-mob right here. And I'm explaining this very, very well. Then I have my pack of leads, which is an annoyance. Um, I've taken out all the duplicates, but I try and keep all my leads neat and folded in a little pouch, so they're just not all over my bag. And finally, we have my Gorilla Pod, which is absolutely amazing because you can twist it and bend it around things on a tree branch or on a street pole if you want to get some good shots, and it kind of scrunches up quite small. So that's basically it. If you were wondering what camera I was filming that on, as I did say, my GoPro is the only camera that I travel with. I was using my friends, which I'm in love with. Absolutely can't get enough of, but it's not mine. But yeah, I try and keep my tech all to a minimum, and I hope this helps. It gives you an idea of what kind of stuff I travel around with, but do remember that I have all those pieces simply because I do what I do on YouTube and with my website as well. I would always recommend a GoPro for every traveler because it has been my best friend. I love it so, so much. If you would like me to do a review on the GoPro, I'm more than happy to do that. Obviously, like I said, mine is the Hero 4 in silver and I can give you a down to earth honest review of what I think. I mean, they are expensive and that puts a lot of people off. But anyway, I'm rambling. So that's the tech I travel with. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and keep up to date with all my travels and get some advice as well. There is also Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, all at Psycho Traveller, but the links are down there. Just, just go down there, full of links, all for you. And I will see you later. Bye! Ah, I knew I wasn't walking without purpose. We have arrived at Fitzgray Park. Yes! I just kind of walked down Nicholson Street and I was like, is there anything on the end of the street?